I'm IFBB Pro John Jewett. Today we're going to do big on a budget. Only have 50 bucks to spend. I'm at Marazzo's Market in Trenton, New Jersey. So the, the premise is that we're going to try to get a week's worth of food and only use 50 bucks. So it's kind of a throwback for me back to being in college when I'm trying to go bare minimum and uh, we're not trying to move back in with our parents so we're trying to be an independent bodybuilder so we're going to make this work today. All right guys, let's go try to get big. I get the little basket, but we're trying to get huge, so we're gonna big basket it. Also, I can lay on it if I get too tired. And we'll go this way instead. <laughs> Check out some discounts. Also, saw, they think they have some coupons too, so we can try to save a little bit extra money if we can. I don't know, if we're trying to get big, this looks like a really good option. Just scratch the whole protein. We don't need any of that. Just eat cake all day. You can say how big we need to get if it's fat or muscle, right? All right. So let's, I think first let's head over to the protein. We'll knock that out. That's going to be our most expensive portion. Uh, my goal in this is to try to uh, get a variety of food sources. So for proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, I don't want to just stick to one source. I want to try to get at least two to three options for each one. Protein's going to be the most expensive thing. So I want to knock that out and then see what I have left for my carbs and fats and then also condiments and seasonings too, so. <clears throat> so beef brown, it's a really lean cut of beef. At $5.99 a pound though, I don't know if I can actually fit that in my budget, but I might just keep that in mind. Um, if you can get beef less than five bucks a pound, I think that would be a better deal. And since we are trying to bulk up fat content, we can go a little higher in fat. So let's see if we can find some cheaper beef. All right. So we got some ground beef. It's 80-20, so it is pretty high fat content. But again, if we're trying to get a good amount of calories in, we can do it this way. It's $3.99 a pound. It's the same as the, the leaner cut. But I think this is also going to taste a lot better too. Um, two pounds, so we got 32 ounces. So roughly five ounces if we were splitting that up for the for over seven days, so we could at least get some, some beef in at least one meal. So normally this would be my go-to, like just boneless, skinless chicken breast. They're $2.79 a pound. Just like a normal price for chicken breast, it's not on sale or anything, so let me see what kind of sale price we get on, on chicken. They do have these split chicken breasts though. <clears throat> there is a little bit of fat on them, so we could trim it off. They're $1.79 a pound, so that, that is a pretty good price. Um, I think if I could do, I'll have beef for one of my meals. If I could do maybe two or three meals chicken, and then I'll see what other type of protein I could get. So for, to do three meals chicken, we're looking at, that's like 18 ounces a day, which uh, we'll probably need, I think around nine pounds or so of chicken. So maybe like three, three of these packs, they're about, three pounds a piece. Let's see what else we get. Maybe we can see if we get some eggs in. One thing I, I want to tell you all about chicken when you're, when you are pricing out to do like your weight of how much you'll actually need is think about your, I measure in cooked weight. So if you want six ounces a meal to estimate for raw, usually you lose about 25% during cooking. So you can times your cooked weight by 1.25 and see how much of raw cooked chicken, raw, raw chicken that you need. And then you can multiply that by how many meals per day you're having and your days per week, and you get the total amount. So going into this, I think I needed around 150 ounces of raw chicken, which uh, comes out pretty close to about, about 10 pounds, which is what I have. So if you're trying to get really strict down on the budget, um, keeping tight on your numbers is really important. So you're not overbuying and definitely not underbuying either. So for eggs, so it looks like the, the special $1.29 for a dozen. Um, now they do have for $2.60, uh, you can get 18 eggs. So it's definitely a better buy to just get extra packs of our, uh, our dozen eggs. 
which I think we could do, we get three dozen. That'll give us, let's see, that'll be 36 eggs by seven. So we get pretty close to six eggs a day. And I think that that hits all of our protein sources. So we get three different protein sources that lays out five meals. We'll have three chicken meals, a beef meal, and an egg meal every day. All right, guys, so we got our proteins locked down. Let's go see what type of carb sources we're getting. Uh, I have in mind to do probably oatmeal with my eggs, with the, the beef meal, maybe rice or potatoes, and, and chicken too. So try to get three different carb sources if we can. All right, so we got oats. I definitely don't think we can do the name brand stuff. So let's see, we just need the right amount for just one meal. So this small size will probably, will probably work. Um, so it's nearly half price for the IGA brand versus the Quaker Oats. I do like Quick Oats. It's even something that we could add to our shake if we wanted to. Um, what I used to do is I used to put them in the coffee grinder and powderize them. So it makes it a lot more digestible that way. And also you don't have your, your oats and your shakes sticking to the sides and not getting all of them. So that's, that's an option too. I used to make my own weight gainers like that. So when I was buying weight gainer, you, you spend a lot of money for like a cheap carb source in the product. So I started just buying protein. I'd use my oats and I'd put either like olive oil or peanut butter in my shakes um, to, make, to make like my own weight gainer that was really more, more affordable and using whole foods too. So this is definitely going to last us for, for the week. Actually, you know, we could do 60 grams of carbs for breakfast every single morning. So that's a, a, a good amount for, for anyone. Really, we could probably even extend that too if you're, if you're a smaller guy and you want to do a little bit less carbs. So let's definitely go with this one, $1.79. All right. All right, so we got our rice. I know for our rice, our, any of our, our box rices, our parboiled stuff, anything that's been, kind of been pre-cooked somewhat, or instant rice is gonna be a little bit more expensive. So definitely wanna go with something that has gonna have a longer cooking time, unfortunately. And uh, so, and I'll, I'll probably, I'll stick to white rice primarily, off season and in pre-contest. A lot of people ask me why, and for me it's mainly digestibility, especially off season if you're trying to push a lot of food and eat more frequently, it's just easier to eat that amount. And, and it's a preference thing. I just like white rice over, over brown rice. And if you want to argue the glycemic index, actually the brown rice and white rice has the exact same glycemic index. So and, and within the context of adding fats and proteins in, it, it really throws that out the window. So it's okay to do white rice. You're looking at maybe a gram of fiber more for brown rice in, in like a cup, which isn't really anything too significant. Um, so for our rice, let's see. So an 85 cents a pound, that's a pretty good deal. I know they have the big pack for five pounds, but I don't, I don't need that much. Um, I could probably, it's a better buy for sure, but within just, I only have 50 bucks for the week, I think I'll have to go with the smaller packs and get a few of them. Um, so let's see. For a quarter cup, we get 36 grams of carbs and 10 servings. So two packs of rice should do it. So let's go with that. 85 cents a piece, look about $1.70 for our carbs. That's a good buy. All right, so I think all we have left, we got our breakfast carbs, we have some rice carbs, three, three meals of rice. I want to get some other carb source. I'm thinking I'd, I'd like to do potatoes. So let's see what we can do for that. All right, so we got some choices on potatoes. We could go regular, just roasted potatoes, or we could do some sweet potatoes. Um, same price. Let's let's try out some sweet potatoes today. See how, see what we can get away with. All right, so we're not to go buy our individual potatoes. We got a deal here, $1.99 for a bag of potatoes. Um, which you got a, a bag coming with, I mean, that's, uh, you're probably getting like almost 15 potatoes in there, which, uh, I mean, I was just planning on doing this for, for one meal over seven days. So this is definitely gonna last us for longer than even a week. So let's definitely add those in. All right, so I added up where we're at so far with our carbs and our protein, right around 34 bucks. So we're doing really good, have like $16 left. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab, grab a fruit while I'm in this section. I uh, saw some apples on sale, so we can add, add those in too. All right, so we get a three pound bag of apples for $2.99. That's, that's a really good buy. There's about 12 apples in there, so this is actually gonna last us longer than a week. So um, if you wanna do even a, maybe two apples a day or even days where we're gonna have a heavy trading sessions, we could do like a couple more apples. All right, so our first fat source stop, we'll do some olive oil. Like I said earlier, it's something that we could throw in our shakes. We could just use it as a topping on our rice or potatoes. Um, for cost-wise, we're not gonna be doing extra virgin olive oil. It's gonna be more expensive, and we have to consider size too. So we just want enough to last us what we need for the week. Um, the IGA brand seems pretty good here. Let's see this little one. We get, so a tablespoon, 14 grams of fat, and how many servings? We get 16 servings out of that. So we're looking at, for two meals, we could add 14 grams of fat to. So this could be for our like chicken and rice meal, we could add it on. Um, with our egg meal, our beef meal, we have fats just already in, in the meats and the eggs themselves. So we won't need to really have a direct fat source from that. So we'll definitely pick this guy up. And I think next I have in mind, I'd like to get some peanut butter if we, we can fit it. All right guys, so peanut butter, a few different options on the brand. One of my favorite brands is the, the Skippy Natural Creamy. Um, comparing it to the, like the all natural peanut butters, it's the same uh, macronutrient wise, but it, the taste is really good on it. Um, Two ninety nine a pound, but not a pound, but oh, nearly fifteen ounces. But the best buy is going to be our IGA brand. Let's see how many servings we get. So for two tablespoons, 16 grams of fat, we get 14 servings. So I was just planning to use this for maybe one meal. So this is actually a two week supply. So this is a perfect deal, two bucks. So I think now what we have left is let's, let's get some flavor to our food. So let's do like our seasoning condiments and probably get some veggies in too. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's part of our ads, ad special they're doing on uh, Hanover vegetables. So we're getting almost roughly like two and a half pounds of vegetables. I picked the medley so we can get three different sources of veggies. I like, I like frozen just prep wise. It takes me forever to cook fresh vegetables. And also uh, I usually go bad on me. So this way I know I won't have any vegetables by the end of the week going bad. Um, it's pricey, it's $4.99 for the bag. So it's gonna have a hit on our budget, but I know we, we got a little bit of room left, so. forty six seventy five. so we're getting close. So just need to see what, uh, what kind of condiments we can get and we should be wrapped up. So I guess you know you're on the East Coast when your sign says cats up, because we don't have cats up in Texas, we have ketchup. So, but we'll think we'll pass on the cats up. All right, so my go-to is usually mustard. It, it goes a long way flavor-wise. You can find some that are relatively low in sodium if that's a concern, um, but you can put it on nearly everything. So good, good, good on our beef, good on our chicken. Um, let's see. So, looks like a good deal for us is gonna be the IGA mustard, just plain yellow mustard. Um, let's see budget wise what we can else we can fit in alright so the for the hot sauce this stuff goes a long way so we really don't need a big bottle so I'm just looking for the cheapest thing that I, I can get to add a little bit of spice to it um, this one looks like a good buy Louisiana pure I mean six ounces of hot sauce this one's gonna last us more than a week $1.09, that's definitely fit in our budget for $49.03. So I say we go check out and see if it really comes out to that amount. And uh, if we have like 97 cents left actually, then we'll try to fit something else in. I 
That's how you do it, 4981. That's pro level math for you right there. All right, so we wrapped up our, our shopping, we got it all done. I think we did a great job getting five meals in, right at 50 bucks, and five good sized meals too. And so we're gonna be definitely able to bulk up big. We'll go back to the hotel, see what we can cook up, and I'll lay it all out for you guys and, and see how it looks put together. Back now at the hotel, we're gonna have all of our meals set out. I planned out, I wrote out the diet, exactly what we're gonna be doing each, each meal. And uh, I'm just gonna make food for, for seven days and to walk y'all through the process, so how you should be storaging, storaging the food also, and plan out what you should be just refrigerating, what you should be freezing too. Um, first, we'll start off just doing our rice because that's gonna take the longest to cook. So for the amount of rice we'll need, I'm just gonna cook a cup of rice and We'll need, and while that's going, then I can start all my meats. So for for the rice, usually I'm using like a two to one ratio of of uh, water to rice. Um, the two cups of water to about a cup of rice. That's for white rice, if you're using brown rice, it's a little different, but mainly I stick to, to white rice for in, uh, pre-contest and for off-season. Um, at home, I, I use a rice cooker, I've been doing it for years, and so I'm usually cooking like two pounds of rice at a time and a, a liter of water, so it makes it really simple math-wise, and that'll last me for like the, the entire week. Let's get our meats going. Chicken's gonna take the longest. Have to trim it up a little bit because we had some, since I got the split chicken breast, they had a little bit of fat on them. Um, so we can make them just a little leaner ourselves. Now, normally at home, I'd, I bake all my chicken or I'll grill it. Um, but stovetop, it's good if you're just trying to do it day by day. It stays, uh, get a little better taste to it too, I think. So now we got lean chicken breast. And for these guys, storage-wise, if you want to do keep your raw chicken in the fridge, I would only keep it in there like one to two days. That's like the USDA food safety on that. Or if you do cook it, uh, you could keep it in the fridge for up to four days. Beyond that, if you're cooking out your chicken for the whole week, I, I would freeze the rest of it. So for, for myself, I'll cook for seven days, but I'll... Uh, I'll leave like three days worth of, of cooked chicken in the fridge and then I'll put the rest in the freezer and I'll portion mine all into little pre, pre weighed out freezer baggies. So it makes it makes it simple during the week. I can just grab my meat and go. <clears throat> so these breasts are pretty thick to just cut down on cooking time. I'm going to slice them in half and uh, save us some time in here getting getting ready. So we'll go ahead and prep our meal one, which is gonna be our eggs and oatmeal. So I plan on doing 60 grams of oats in the morning. I weigh it out raw. Give us more accurate than weighing it out after because depending on how much water we use, the weight's gonna be different for the, the amount of nutrients. So we'll have about 40 grams of carbs with this meal. And for the amount of water I do, I just fill it probably about a quarter inch over the oats. It really just depends on how thick or how thin you want your oatmeal. If you're going to be mixing protein, a lot of times protein will thin out your oatmeal. So you might want to consider that if, before you start cooking it with a lot of water to begin with. And these are instant, so just a minute should be plenty of time. And while that's going, we can go ahead and prep our shake for the morning. So I'm gonna be, for meal two, I plan on doing oats, peanut butter, and uh, some, some animal whey, we'll go red velvet. I'm just gonna do 40 grams of protein, so we're looking like a scoop and a half. If 
you want to be real anal about it, you could weigh out your protein. I'm not going to do that though. And then we can weigh our oats out though. And I'm going to do another 60 grams of oats. So 40 grams of carbs. Like I told you at the store, if you want to make this a little bit more finer, you can put it in the coffee grinder or like maybe a, a Vitamix or something and powderize it. If you want to get it even softer, you can just let them sit and soak in, in, the, in the shaker bottle for a little while. And for the peanut butter, we don't have our tablespoon measure, so we'll just weigh our peanut butter out. And for one tablespoon, it's um, 16 grams. So weigh out 16 grams of peanut butter. All right, we got 20 grams. I think that's close enough and we're trying to get big anyway. So another four grams of peanut butter won't kill us. And this peanut butter with water, it won't stick to the sides with your, you know, your uh, shaker bottle in there. It, it mixes up really fine and, and dilutes. So while our chicken's cooking, I have the other burner open. We'll get our, our ground beef going. So with our beef, since we're just doing it one meal a day, and this pack's gonna last exactly seven days, I'm gonna weigh it out raw. That way we're a little bit more precise about it. So right now we got 32 ounces of, of raw meat. So over seven days, we, we have 32 ounces to work with. So we'll weigh out about five ounces to cook. Okay. And like I said, one to two days in the fridge, this is okay. But after that, we got to freeze this stuff. So we'll go ahead and microwave our potatoes. For potatoes for me, even if I'm doing during the week, I never really cook them in, in bulk just because they don't really... Uh, sometimes I have to eat my food cold and they're not that great if you don't reheat them. So I don't, I don't weigh them out because what I'll do is I'll cook the potato. If I do have a little bit left over for that meal, I'll just save it for the next day in the fridge and add those together. So we're only doing potatoes for one meal. So I'm just going to cook two. And if we have it go over, actually let's just do three. If we go over, we'll just save it. And so my potatoes, so I'll, I'll cook them for about 10 minutes and I'll check it on about halfway through just to and flip them over and make sure I'm not cooking them too long because they do kind of vary in size. So the little one might be ready sooner. I think our chicken's almost done. I always check the food temperature on my chicken. Uh, it needs to be up to 165. Uh, I, I do the temperatures just because in the past I've overcooked my chicken. It's dry all week or definitely don't want to undercook it and, and run the risk of some type of food safety issue. So we're not quite there. We're like 10 degrees off, so we need to let it cook a little bit longer. All right, last thing to cook is our eggs. So in the morning, we're gonna do five whole eggs. Ideally at home, I do pasture-raised eggs. Has a little bit different fat content, higher in CLA, omega-3s, uh, but we're on a budget, so these are gonna work today. And so we got our frozen veggies, so this is gonna be a really easy one to, to prep pretty quick. For three of the meals, I'm going to add in 50 grams of veggies. So we can just weigh that out and microwave it. So our veggies are done. So we had 150 grams here for three meals. I'm not going to weigh them out individually on plates. I'm just going to spread them out, kind of eyeball it across my, my three plates. So we can weigh out our potatoes. I do them cooked. And so we're gonna do 40 grams of carbs, so it's gonna be 200 grams of potato. So the fresh, we can just bag it up and, or put it in your Tupperware and leave it in the fridge for the next day. So we have all, all of our meals put together, six meals laid out. Um, going from meal one, we have our five eggs, our oatmeal, and our apple. And then we can have our shake all prepped, ready to do. For meal three, we can do our chicken veggies, our rice, also put a tablespoon of olive oil on it. And the preference on, on how you, when, what time you train or what sits best for you, we could do our, our beef, rice, and apple pre-workout about 90 minutes before, or could do even your, your chicken potato meal. With the chicken potato meal, I did add some olive oil onto that to increase calories. And our last meal of the day is gonna be uh, chicken, rice, veggies, and also some olive oil in here. 
So for all this, we added, ended up hitting uh, 300 grams of carbs, about 260 grams of protein, and 120 grams of fat, which all that totals up, and we're just kind of estimating it's around uh, 3,300 calories. So for 50 bucks, we got 3,300 calories of food, and that's, that's a good amount of food. So this, and it's actually really solid and balanced and complete. So it shows you it can be done. So if you are on a budget, you can definitely make it happen. So when I was first coming up, I, I started out powerlifting, and I, I still counted all my calories, my macronutrients. I had my Excel file out trying to lay everything out and be really detailed. And for me, when I was younger, it was, it was harder because I had to even consume more calories. So the highest I got up to was about 5,500 calories with having to do a lot of shakes, but that's a lot of food. And just uh, having it laid out in here, it shows you that it is possible to eat a lot of food and good quality food and still make great progress. Um, so for me, I had, when I was in college and powerlifting, I had to look at cost of food and be really uh, conscious of that. So I know a lot of people say like they have an excuse or limitation that they don't have a lot of money, but that doesn't have to be the case. So you can um, get a really solid diet and and still stay within your budget. And then as you progress or you know have more income, you can start looking more at quality of food and you know getting your grass-fed beef or your pasture-raised eggs or um, you know certain type of grains or fat sources that you do want to can be consuming. So as you progress, you can add those items in. Um, but as you're just starting out, this just this plan right here is something that you could get really good progress with. I just want to say uh, thanks to the whole Animal Crew for having me out and for all my supporters and fans. And I know I saw a few comments of guys wanting me to do this. So all the support that y'all give me and I just highly appreciate it. It means so much to have y'all backing me and just want to show you that it is proof that you can get big on a budget.